Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and I'm gonna bust your holy nuts, because this week I'll be ranking each and every one of the spells on the cleric spell list so that when you go crossing your T's and stabbing out eyes, you can do it knowing that you've been optimized by Davy Chappie. As always, keep in mind that a lot of this is just my opinion, so if you feel like I was unfair to one of your favorite spells, get over it, loser. Everybody hold up. <coughs> I'm recording this while I'm sick, so you're not getting my traditional snake oil salesman voice. But luckily for you, the only thing you have to be sick of is sick of not having an encounter for your next session. And the ibuprofen for your worries is out of the box. <coughs> Encounters for 5th edition. With this book, the nasal congestion of your D&D games will be cleared away, replaced by the sinus satisfaction of using somebody else's better ideas. And while the time for discounts on the upcoming Nerdarchy the convention has come and gone, you can sleep peacefully knowing that your chance to meet a hopefully not flu-ridden D and daddy of your dreams is still possible via the pledge manager. Nerdarchy. Made for nerds. <laughs> by nerds. But, with out of the way, let's begin. So, the Cleric is one of the main spellcasting classes in the game, being known as the Holy Ho to a godly pimp daddy, and the thing that makes their class so much more versatile than other classes is the fact that the Cleric has access to its entire spell list, as in, it can swap out spells however it wants at the end of every long rest. This means that, for this list, spells that have a very limited or situational use will be given a lot more of a pass, since who cares that water-breathing spells barely ever come up if the Cleric can just take a little nap and wake up with fish gills for everybody. It also means that the spells with more versatility baked into their kits aren't getting a shiny gold star just for taking a little bit of everything. They're gonna have to get a real job, like I do. Also, unlike wizards who go to war in their pajamas, clerics decided to actually bring fighting equipment to the cave filled with soon-to-be eunuch bugbears, so clerics don't have a problem being on either the middle or the complete front line, so your spell choice should reflect that. If you want to be a midliner, you should take spells that require concentration, and just try to maneuver yourself away from harm's way. I know it's tempting, but don't take a melee-oriented spell if you don't want to be there in the first place. Plan for success, not for failure. But if you want to yeet yourself like a Eucharist wafer, then you should take melee fighty spells spells instead of concentration spells, because you do plan on getting hit, and concentration spells tend to not survive repeated blows to the head. You can get away with taking one or two if you want to use them for one or two turns, but definitely don't rely on them unless you're staying ranged. When in doubt, you can check your subclass to see what that kilt is built for. If you get the potent spell casting feature later down the line, then your cleric is meant to be a rangy boy, but if you get divine strike, then that subclass is meant for face punching. Of course, you can just ignore all of this and play your cleric however you want, but I want to give new worshippers out on their first mission the best fighting chance that they've got. But that is enough prep talk. Let's jump into it, starting with the cantrips! Guidance. If you're looking for a last cantrip to pick up, this is okay. Light. Star light, star bright, help me kick some ass tonight. Mending. The swap out spells rule doesn't apply to cantrips, but this spell isn't the worst thing to have anyway. Resistance. Is plus a joke to you? Sacred Flame. People haven't realized that this just isn't as good as Toll the Dead, and you only need one damaging cantrip. Spare the Dying. Completely useless! Stop taking the spell and just buy medicine kits. They do the exact same thing and you get to keep a cantrip slot. I'm not talking to you, Grave Cleric. Thaumaturgy. The I'm a Cleric cantrip that lets you do clericy things. Almost useless, but fun. Toll the Dead. Better than Sacred Flame, except against Undead, which the Cleric can beat anyway. Oh no, the enemy is resistant to Necrotic, better use my Cleric brand hammer instead. Word of Radiance. It's useful if you plan to get surrounded, but you have to work harder to make it good. First level! Bane. It's good against enemies that you're tired of hitting you, but not as good as Bless. It's better than Bane because you'll use it longer since enemies die and you don't plan to. Ceremony. A nice fluffy spell. It won't serve you well in combat, but it's really good for fleshing out your character. Command. All rise! And get down! Create or destroy water. Do you need water? Well, here there you go. Cure wounds. Clerics don't have to be healers, but if you want to be, detect evil and good. Pick it up when you know you're going hunting. Detect magic. You never know when you're going to need to see magic. You also never know when the bad guy has it. Detect poison and disease. If I die from poison or disease in Dungeons and Dragons, I deserve it. Guiding bolt. Hey, I don't see the enemy. Can you ping him? Thank you. Healing word. Don't use this spell unless someone is bleeding out. You can use cure wounds for anything else. Inflict wounds. If you want to be melee, this is a pretty great Rasengan. Protection from evil and good. Great for when the devil has you thinking gay thoughts. Purify. Food and drink. This will never happen, but it's too because it's possible. Sanctuary. If it's good enough for Kingdom Hearts, it's good enough for you. Use this on someone you don't want in the fight, but want to keep alive. Shield of Faith. Always useful for making the tank a little more egregiously tanky. Second level! Aid. Eh, even when you have it, you don't really want it. Augury. It's pretty fun to ask your god for advice. Not enough people know you can do this. Blindness slash deafness. Deafness is nothing. Blindness is everything. Calm emotions. It's a way to diffuse and encounter peacefully, but who's gonna do that? Continual flame. For when your friend doesn't have dark vision and you can't be bothered to cast light. Enhance ability. It's decent utility, but nothing special. Find traps. Perception is just easier. Gentle repose. I don't know when you're ever gonna need this, but you have it for when you do. Hold person. Literally never a bad time to have this. Lesser restoration. Not good enough to have at all times, but you just need one long rest. Locate object. Once again, you don't really ever need this, but there's nothing wrong with it. Prayer of healing. Eat your heart out, mask your wounds! Protection from poison. <laughs> 
poison. Silence. You don't have counterspell, but you do have this. Spiritual Weapon. One of your best battle spells because you can just keep using it as a bonus action. Warding Bond. Be wary while using the spell not to cast concentration spells afterwards. That's just double the con saves. Zone of Truth. Admit it! You liked Rise of Skywalker, didn't you? Admit it, damn you! Third level. Animate Dead. Resurrection by Erection. Beacon of Hope. You won't really use this often, it lasts for one minute, and you'll always find something better to do on each turn. Bestow Curse. You get to come up with your own curse. Pretty spiffy. Clairvoyance. They say that clerics can't be spies, but God is always watching. Create food and water. I don't know from what hellscape that food is appearing, but you should thank God for it. Daylight. Okay, sure, this is technically more useful than the light spell, but you're on thin fucking ice. Dispel magic. Yes, sir, I would very much like that giant butt cloud to go away. Thank you. Feign death. Remember, kids, when you're in trouble, act like you were killed, and it'll be all better. Glyph of warding. Religious organizations should not be left in the possession of explosives and magical detonation machines. Life transference. You have other, better ways of healing than forcing people to drink the blood of Christ. Magic circle. It's an anti-sea bear circle. Mass healing word. It's like healing word, but better. Meld into stone. In case you were wondering just how Jesus got out from behind that rock. Protection from energy. You will never have this when you need it, and then you will take it, and then you won't need it anymore. Remove curse. I sure hope that curse doesn't activate within the next eight hours. Revivify. Once your DM knows that you have this, the game is going to get so much harder. Sending. Critical Role has taught me to always end your messages with, you can reply to this message. Speak with dead. It's so much more convenient to just kill everybody and then interrogate them. Spirit Guardians. Useful for one turn, and then everybody wants to hit you. Choose your battles. Tongues. You actually really want this spell. So many plot conveniences are fixed by you being able to understand other people. Water walk. Yes, you could walk on water. But why? Fourth level! Banishment. Delete an enemy. Sure, they'll come back, but not before everybody else is dead. Control water. Uh... Sure. Death Ward. Pretty great to put on your friends, but let's be honest, this one is yours. Divination. Once again, these sorts of spells are great to use, but no one ever uses them for fear of upsetting the big D and daddy. Freedom of movement. For when you want to get out of traps. Guardian of Faith. I can't stop feeling weird about how it just does 20 flat damage, but hey, it's 20 flat damage. Locate Creature. You'll need it when you need it, and quote the Raven, nevermore. Stone Shape. Fun with clay. That's as much as you'll get out of the spell. Hope you don't like fourth level spell slots. Fifth level! Commune. Take the spell. Force your DM into an awkward position. Do it. Contagion. This spell is great and you should take it just because one of the effects is named Slimy Doom. Dawn. Fuckstrad. Dispel evil and good. Fuckstrad's minions. Flamestrike. And Fuckstrad's house. Gios. Mind control is a staple of any good church. Greater Restoration. It's like Lesser Restoration, but greater. Hollow. A fifth level spell slot that doesn't go away. Super fluffy, and it'll make you feel like a cleric. Holy Weapon. It's in a weird spot where it expects you to be in combat, but it also is a concentration spell. At least you can use it as a flashlight? Insect Plague. You can be like Moses, suffocating innocent people with bees. Legend Lore. Another information spell. These are never not good. Mass Cure Wounds. It's like Mass Healing Word, but Healer. Planar Binding. Most creatures don't appreciate being bound to your service, and they will make a point of letting you know that later on in life. Raise Dead. Bring people to life. What's not to love? Scrying. Remember, kids, God is always watching even when you think you're alone. Six level! Blade Barrier. You don't get many crazy spells that do good damage, so take them when you get them. Create Undead. This is not- This is not your job! This is the exact opposite of your job! Bind the Path. Never needed it, never will. This is the lowest two I could ever give. Forbiddance. DMs, remember that this spell exists. Harm. Not getting any originality points for your name, but this is an okay means of bringing somebody to heal without killing them. Heal. From the makers of Harm. Hero's Feast. Used for roleplay and roleplay only. You don't need a 6 level spell slot for Goodberry. Planar Ally. Okay, but I'm warning you, if you summon a demon or a fae, you are digging your own grave. True Seeing. You can't hide your sinful acts from God. I mean, unless you have a blanket. Word of Recall. A great get out of jail free card. Must be how the priests keep changing clergies. 7th level! Conjure Celestial. From the heavens comes a hero, mighty hoosman. Divine Word. Banus. Etherealness. The best way to protect your chastity is to become one with the Holy Spirit. Firestorm. When peace and love doesn't work, rain fire upon their houses. Plane Shift. Use this to pick up all those other cleric subclasses. Regenerate. It's not the best healing spell, but it does help you regenerate lost limbs. Resurrection. Raise your bone up to the sky and you're never gonna die! Symbol. Don't touch the penis. Don't touch the penis. Temple of the Gods. Purely fluffy, but that's what makes a great character. Eighth level! Anti-magic field. We're all muggles now, bitch boy. Control weather. You know how when it rains and you think that God hates you? Heh <laughs> Yeah. Earthquake. This spell isn't for basic combat, it's for making a show. Holy Aura. The fact that this is an 8th level spell is very disappointing for how useful it ends up being. Ninth level! Astral Projection. Going into the astral realm is super dangerous, and there's usually no reason to do it. Gate. It's just a big portal. If you need a big portal, you've got it, but otherwise, use a normal portal. Mass Heal. It's like all the other heal spells, but better. True Resurrection. When you wake up from the dead and an angel gives you a head, hallelujah! But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, join Join my Discord, join my slowly evolving Twitch, and if you want to be a cool dude, maybe support me on Patreon so that I can keep coming up with original jokes for every single goddamn one of
of these spells. But yeah, Davy out.